Hi, and welcome back to the Watch Report powered by Watchbox. I'm your host, Zach Rego, and today we're going to cover some recent news in the watch industry. Are you the kind of person who loves high horology, but also loves maintaining a beautiful garden? If you answered yes, then H. Moser's latest SIHH announcement may be of some interest to you. The brand has just released information regarding a piece unique that has actual plants growing off of the watch. The H. Moser Nature Watch is a 42 mm stainless steel watch that is 100% grown and made in Switzerland. Feels weird to describe a watch being grown, but this watch has a few features that actually come right from Mother Nature. The dial is made of a natural mineral stone from the Swiss Alps, and the strap is made of actual Swiss grass. Not only that, but the grass actually grows. I usually hear the question, how often will I have to wind my watch? But a question like, how often do I have to water my watch is not something I am used to hearing. For this watch, the grass must be watered twice a day, and even comes with some mini clippers in order to maintain the grass. The reference 8327-1200 may be the first watch that can actually claim it has an oxygen purification complication. I myself was inspired by this watch and decided to glue some plants native to Philadelphia to my Omega Seamaster, but unfortunately, the results were not as successful. A Langa in Zona has been producing the amazing Langa 1 for 25 years, and to celebrate the milestone, the brand has released a white gold 25th anniversary edition Langa 1 that is limited to just 250 pieces. This 38.5mm watch is decorated with a deep blue printed dial, blued steel hands, and features an engraving of the Langa headquarters on the case back. It is fastened to the wrist using a blue alligator strap with gray stitching and an 18 karat white gold prong buckle. This watch will retail for €43,700 and will be available to those who can pronounce the name of the brand correctly, so I guess Brian Goldberg will not be in the running for this one. The creative minds over at MBNF have just released info on the Horological Machine 6 Final Edition, which to many looks like a car you would imagine to be driven on Mars in a hundred years. This eight-piece limited edition marks the end of the Horological Machine 6 line, which started in 2014 and is comprised of just 100 individual pieces. This version comes with a 495 by 52.3 by 20.4 millimeter stainless steel case and has a whopping 10 crystals, which I'm sure were super easy to produce. The watch features a 60 second tourbillon with a retractable shield, just in case you are flying through some sort of asteroid field on your way to work. Although this watch may not be the most practical watch purchase you make this year, it will certainly make those who see you wearing it go, what? Floyd Mayweather recently put out a video showing off his 41 piece watch collection worth roughly 20.4 million US dollars. Now I know this is very unlike Floyd to be bragging and boasting about something, but I guess when your watch collection looks like that, you want the world to know about it. The watch collection included watches from brands like Rolex, Audemars Piguet, Patek Philippe, and Frank Mueller, just to name a few. Floyd states in the video, when I go on vacation for 30 days, I take 30 watches with me. But you know what? What's crazy is this. If we add 10 more days, I take 10 more watches. What a life. If you told me I could get a watch collection like that by getting hit in the face all day, I'd say, which side do you want to start with, left or right? The boxer ended the video by showing off his most prized of them all, a fully diamond set Jacob & Co. Turbion watch named the Billionaire Watch which disappointingly cost only $18 million. Talk about a misleading name. Congratulations to last week's contest winner, Andres Gutierrez, for being the first to correctly guess the Breguet tradition, reference 7037BA slash 11 slash 9V6 that I was wearing in last week's episode. The first person to comment the correct brand and reference of the watch I am wearing this week will be getting some free watch swag sent their way. I'm Zach Rego, and this has been The Watch Report. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to click the bell for the latest updates in watch content. Thanks for watching, and see you next week.